Hi, this is Colby with Reese Nichols Real Estate. Today I'm going to give you my 60 second market update. Okay, timer's on and go. Okay, so in July, pended sales were 2,040. Now that's a slight change from June and May. June number is 2,943. May number was 3,426. So our pended numbers are slightly down. What that means for inventory is that we have seven months of existing inventory on the market. Okay, what's seven mean? What's that number mean? At six months of an existing inventory, that means we are at a balanced market, equal buyer and seller market. Now, at less than six months of inventory, it's a seller's market. At more than six months of inventory, it is a buyer's market. So if you look at July, we had seven. If you look at June, we had 4.9 months of existing inventory. And if you look at May, we had 4.2 months of existing inventory. So we've had a slight switch after the month of July. Let me go to day, average days on market. Now, this is an exciting statistic for sellers. Average days on market in July were 64 days. That's so crazy. Now, look at June. It was 67. May was 72. And April was 73. So the average days on market is actually going down for sold homes. That's incredible. So let me break down these statistics. I'm already over my time. Let me break down these statistics. For buyers, what these stats mean to you, there are more choices for you out there. You have less competition. So you're less likely to get in a bidding war. Sellers, if you are priced correctly, you have the right marketing strategy, and you and you are out there with maximum exposure, you'll sell. And I would count on selling in less than 70 days, and that's so crazy. So those are my stats. Let me know if you have any questions.